so. Captain EO really did change the world, miraculously turning the dark planet into a place filled with beauty and light. And on top of everything, the whole movie is in 3D. Now, wait till you see that. But of course, you still have to wear these special glasses. And now they make them kind of attractive. What do you think? A real Paris fashion statement. You may remember reading about the 3D rage that began in the 50s. Everybody was talking about it. You may have even seen some 3D films. But never, until now, have you ever experienced anything like Captain EO. You know, 3D is kind of tough to explain when you're stuck in here in two dimensions, like I am. Right now, I'm on your TV screen, but look around you. I mean, real life is in 3D. Your kids are in 3D, and so are your parents. At least they're supposed to be. Now, the idea of 3D film is that whatever is happening here on the screen is supposed to look like it's happening right there in your living room. So let's take a look at the equipment necessary to make a 3D film. The camera for this revolutionary process is really two cameras in one. It has two lenses, two loads of film, and shoots two slightly different images, the same way that your left and right eye see two slightly different images. And when those images are projected together, your brain is fooled into believing it's seeing depth on a flat screen. Of course, all the technology in the world can't actually shoot the picture. So one of the great European masters of cinematography, Vittorio Sterato, another Oscar award winner, by the way, was invited here from Italy to capture the 3D magic of Captain EO on celluloid. that the great elements of 3D is the fact that really you can move in perspective, in the third dimension. If you have one dimension in horizontal, one dimension is vertical, the third dimension is the perspective. So with this production specific, which is uh, really mainly about energy, as more uh, we can use the perspective in movement, the better. Lighting is essential to all filmmaking. But for 3D, it's extremely important and much more of it has to be used. The lights on the Captain EO set drew enough power to light two city blocks or all of Main Street at Disneyland. Captain EO's new home at Disneyland used to be an outdoor theater by day and by night, a showcase for Disney's first 3D film, The Magic Journey. But for Captain EO, a new specially equipped theater has been built with lasers, smoke effects, miles of fiber optics, and a state-of-the-art digital sound system. <laughs> 